Well, Paige and Craig, from February 7th to the 14th, the city of Fayetteville is encouraging the entire community to learn more about congenital heart defects as well as heart disease. It's a week of awareness that one Fayetteville mother says she's needed for a year. Oh, Meet one-year-olds Amelia and Blair. Upon first glance at the Huddleston twins, you can't tell that one is healthier than the other, but Abby Huddleston learned something was wrong with one of her girls when she was 20 weeks pregnant. Blair was born with uh, multiple heart defects. Um, and so whenever she was two weeks old, she actually had to have open heart surgery down at Children's. And um, then she also had to have it again whenever she was six months old to fix all of her um, different defects that she has. At just one year and two weeks old, Blair Huddleston has already spent about a third of her life in the hospital. So we've had a lot of scares. We now know that any time that we go to the doctor to just pack a hospital bag because the first hospital checkup that we had after she um, got out of the hospital, we were immediately sent back down to Children's. We had to spend another week down there. So we learned very quickly to have everything packed and be ready to go at a moment's notice. According to the American Heart Association, 40,000 children are born with congenital heart defects in the U.S. each year. It's a disease that Blair will live with for the rest of her life. A lot of the times they are developmentally delayed um, until they get to kindergarten and then they kind of all catch up um, is what research has shown. But Abby says Blair is getting stronger every day as she plays with her twin sister, Amelia. It's hard to not compare the two. Um, Amelia's crawling, Blair's not crawling, um, but as far as their hearts, um, Blair has just as big of a heart as Amelia does. <laughs> Well, both of those girls were so much fun to be around this afternoon. Huddleston says the Arkansas Children's Northwest Hospital in Springdale does not currently have a congenitive heart surgeon, so they still have to go to Little Rock for treatments. But the good news is Blair won't need another treatment for another three months. We're reporting live in Fayetteville tonight. And Jamie Weiss, 4029 News.